Hello everyone and welcome back to my efficient design series in Kerbal Space Program 0.24.2. In this episode I hope to bring Calrod Kerman back to Kerbin and uh, that is after he landed on Duna and Ike. He is currently in orbit around Ike and then after we get him back we are going to conduct our Jewel mission hopefully landing on one of the moons of Jewel. Uh, which one was that? Bop. We are aiming for Bop. So yes, that is the plan. And first things first, we need to get Calrod into into orbit around Duna instead of in orbit around Ike. And let me just take a look at which way he's orbiting. Okay, he's going around that way. So over here, that gets us our return trajectory. Let's try and make it so it doesn't crash into the planet. Let's see which direction the apoapsis is going in. Oh, that's good. That's, that's, uh, no, that's not good. That's the opposite direction, sorry. Uh, we, we actually want it uh, down. We, we want it going this way. So, yeah, not the right direction. So not the most optimal procedure here. Okay, but uh, we'll have to do this anyway. I don't know how quickly Ike goes around. If uh, we wait until Ike gets to here, then it'd be it'd be correct. But I don't know how long Ike's orbital period is. Hmm. Probably too long. I'm just gonna go with that theory. We're already in alignment with uh, Kerbin, so we don't want to wait too long for this. All right, so. Going around, Calrod. We don't have a lot of spare fuel here. Okay, I've got uh, a trajectory back heading to uh, about 40 kilometers on the curb and periapsis. So, that looks good to me. Question is whether we have enough fuel. I think we do, but it's going to be tight. So, Calrod, you're going to have to do this pretty precisely. And of course, uh, it's because our current orbit uh, around Duna is suboptimal that we, we really are using a bit more than I would have liked. Okay, I better go to map view. We've got very little fuel left and I want to get a good look at what's happening here okay that's uh, atmospheric periapsis and you know that'll that'll slow us down we've got enough fuel for an adjustment but not too much this is extremely tight but let's get into interplanetary space now okay Calrod you're at least headed back to Kerbin's SOI and then uh, if we have to launch something to retrieve you that's a separate thing you'll be sort of like an asteroid that we're trying to recover okay out we go alright we are in in the Sun's sphere of influence and we still have our Kerbin periapsis as intended let me go to the tracking station to double check on the Jewel mission before I do anything else. Okay, so the Jewel mission is going to come into Jewel Encounter in 113 days, whereas our Duna mission... Uh-oh. Well, it says orbiting Duna. Thought we were in the general sphere of influence. Anyway, uh, I think it was 75 days. Let's go back to this. I hope it hasn't messed anything up. Let's go. Now we're in general sphere influence, yes. Okay, now we have an encounter. Shh, this thing, I swear. Gave me a minor heart attack there. We don't have enough fuel to correct any big gaps. Okay. But it looks like we're we're a go for home. So let's go. Alright, here we are. Kerbin sphere of influence. Periapsis is low enough to bring us straight down. And I think that's what we're going to do. It'll be high G-forces, but 
I think it'd be safer to just make sure that Calrog gets in rather than try and do anything fancy. Even correcting inclination doesn't seem worthwhile in this case because we might get into trouble. So, Calrod, we're gonna, you're gonna have to face some G-forces, Alan Shepard type G-forces here. And, yep, here we go. This thing twinkling must be one of the, either Minmus or one of the planets, isn't, isn't that right? I mean, the background isn't gonna twinkle. That's the moon. I think it'd be spinning much faster if it was Minmus. That must be a planet. Okay, still on intended trajectory. Let's bring in the solar panels. Still need stuff flying off all over the place. And of course we want to recover them as well. It's, it's funds here. We've got funds to worry about. Okay, in we go. Six G's. Calrod still seems to be quite happy. Looks like we're going to peak out at 6 G's in a bit. Where are we? Looks like in the middle of ocean. On the opposite side of the planet from where we want to be. Well, not opposite. I think it's like a quarter of the way, right? Yeah. Okay, everything's calmed down, 500 meters per second parachutes, SAS off. Full parachute deployment confirmed, we are at 5.2 meters per second, Calrod Kerman is calm, and we continue to the surface. Okay, there we go. Flop successful and recover. You've always got to make sure that the flop is successful, otherwise, you didn't design it properly. Anyway, uh, 556.5 science on board, collected. Uh, 14,800 funds from the return of the craft, very nice, though uh, only 64.2% of the total possible value because it was 724 kilometers away from the KSC. And Calrod is back. All right, so uh, before we turn to the geomission, let me turn to the tech tree. Let's see what we can open up here. Rovers are a thing I have not done. Let's aim for that first. Small probe cores. I think that's what I really want right now. All right, but uh, we'll be collecting much more science from the geomission, hopefully. So let us turn to that and see how much we get. So we've got Lem in the Jewel system, and I think that's Jewel right there. And our periapsis is pretty good already. Just zooming out here. Uh, periapsis is 126 to 127 kilometers, let's say. And we are going in the correct direction. Our inclination could use some work, but probably this is not the place to fix it. Because of the way uh, we're not quite at the ascending or descending node sort of thing. Um, but there is an unintended problem. You see, I was sort of relying on the ability to access the internet and error breaking calculator to really get exactly where my periapsis should be to error break around Joule. And unfortunately, uh, for reasons mostly due to weather, I do not have internet access right now. I don't have phone or cable either because I've got a bundle and the uh, ISP I have does not seem to be doing their job on a stormy Saturday. So uh, just for the record, if I don't upload anything on November 22nd, it is basically because uh, the weather knocked out my internet. So j j just uh, be aware of that. And it also means that I don't know exactly where I should arrow break to, but usually a good approximation is 115 kilometers, so that's what I'm going to go for. And I'm going to hope for the best. I think that should be safe. Uh, I've seen numbers lower than that uh, when trying to arrow break at Jewel, uh, but uh, well, anyway, we'll see. Hopefully, we're not going too slow such that uh, 
going 115 kilometers will actually bring us to Jules' surface. But that's going to be a risk we'll have to take. Um, we'll have to do the adjustment pretty close to Jules because trying to adjust that tiny little bit, well, you'll see here in a sec. Nope, wrong way. Um, so we want 115. Uh, I'll I'll go conservative and say no less than 115. So as long as I get a number above it, I'll take that. Whoa. But you can see it's about 0.2 meters per second, this burn. Let's say I just uh, plot it like that. And so in 12 days, we do that burn. Geosphere influence is very, very large. Okay, 115.7. That's on the safe side, like I said. So I'm going to go with that. The hopefully safe side. Knock on wood and everything. Yep, there's Jewel. I think we can retract the solar panels now just so that they don't get ripped off in the in the arrow breaking. And again, our target is Bop. Bop itself has a sort of interesting inclination around Jewel. So we're gonna set that as a target, but we really can't see how much we're gonna need to fix right now. All right, here we go. Okay, uh, before we totally do do all the dangerous stuff, let's just double check. Okay, dual periapsis 115.8. I hope my memory has served me well here. Otherwise, we're in trouble. On which moon that is? Definitely not Bob, because Bob is tiny. <laughs> have Lem stuff. Have, have we done? Uh, I really should have checked uh, whether we've done EVA reports and all that. I don't know how much we've done in the. Because I've done so many series. Um, let me just see if we've logged gravity. Oh. Well, we can't transmit here. Let's keep that data for now. Yeah, I guess we haven't done uh, dual science yet. Darn. Now somebody remind me that we can have them EVA and take the data in and bring it into the pod, so I'll have to remember to do that this time. Okay, now I really need to know whether we're... Well, it looks like we've got to make orbit. We're a ways away from our periapsis. Oh dear. Uh, have I done too much here? Oh, what sort of... I think I saw an encounter there, even. I don't know whether that was for Bob or Paul. Uh, given our inclination differences, I don't know what it could have been. Oh, uh, Tylo encounter. Okay. But we're passing right by such things have we passed we've passed periapsis it's looking pretty safe now actually I think we'll be good possibly a little bit closer to Jewel than I would have liked obviously I would have liked my apoapsis to be around the the orbit of Bob but you can't have everything oh Val encounter well, there goes that one. Maybe I can use one of the moons to boost me out to a higher orbit instead of actually doing a burn. Could uh, retrieve that val- oh? Lathe encounter. Oh, look at what it's doing. It's doing exactly what I said I wanted it to do. Except now it's doing the opposite. Uh... Nope, and we lost it. But maybe that lathe encounter would be good. Let me set lathe as a target. Hmm, 
Lathe is only willing to give me a boost if I crash into it. And that's an escape trajectory. I don't want that. Oh, wait. That's a boost. You know what? I'll take that. That, that looks nice and flat. Oh, no, wait. Uh, I, I'm looking at the wrong... Uh, I don't really want it too flat, but... I could do with a boost like that. And I want the Leif Encounter anyway. Okay, uh, well, first of all... No, no, that's not what I wanted. EVA. I'm gonna have to board. I need to do this burn, otherwise we're not gonna get what I want here. Gotta be very, very careful now. Otherwise we either crash into Lathe or we end up in an escape trajectory. Okay. Where does the atmosphere of life stop? That's something else I need to wonder. Okay, that's escape again. This is a uh, tight business we've got here. Okay. All right. Let's try this sort of approach. Now, Lem. I want you to grab the science that we just did. This is going to be a tricky EVA, at least for me, because I don't like EVAs. Okay, here we go. Okay. Take data. Okay, we got that stuff. Now... Alright, and Lem is back in with the information. Let's get a crew report. Keep that data. And I want him to EVA. Take that data. Board. is high over jewel I, I i hope uh the the data we already have is low over jewel right near jewel yeah it's all near jewel temperature scan can't be done okay um yep yeah. i'm gonna have you get that extra gravity scan Okay, got it. All right, Lem's done uh, two EVAs already. And now we're headed into the Leif system for a slingshot to a higher orbit. Very nice. Very nice if it turns out that the atmosphere is higher than 77, I mean lower than 77 kilometers, otherwise we're going to face unintended drag. Okay, so here we are in Leif's sphere of influence. That's Val, I think, isn't it? There's Leif. Okay, you know the drill. Uh, well, let's uh, get a crew report. I didn't do the crew report uh, high over... What you got? Um, high over Jewel. Keep the data. Log gravity data. Keep data. Log temperature. Can't be done. Okay, EVA. EVA report. Keep the data. 
And let's get that stuff. Well, I... Hmm. Yeah, yeah. Well, let's... Maybe we should transmit some stuff, really. Maybe I should transmit the gravioli this time. Okay. Yeah, let, let, let's not totally milk things here. Let me transmit this. Ooh, our solar power is a little bit uh, iffy. Forgot to extend the panels after doing all the business. Okay, but let's get some info. Crew report. Let's just keep that. Should just transmit those, but uh, hold on a sec. Let's see, where did my instruments go? Okay, oh, the thermometer's messed up. I'm gonna keep that. Gotta quickly do an EVA report. Keep that board. Okay. Now let's see if the slingshot is successful, putting us into our intended high orbit instead of something else. Okay, that's our new orbit, and our intended destination is Bop. We've got a 12 degree adjustment to make, and I think I'm going to make it out here because it's not going to cost quite as much as if I do it at our new jewel periapsis. That's the ascending node, so the so oh, hold on. Tylo encounter. Yeah, I don't want to do that right now. <laughs> uh, let, let's focus on our mission at hand, actually, because uh, that's gonna throw off our our inclination even worse than it is right now. We want to make an actual landing. We've got a contract to fulfill here. Still gonna cost 113. No, no, 119, I mean, 119. Okay, but that's necessary. There's no way you're gonna hit Bop unless you've got the right inclination. It's just too small. Okay, inclination is zero. Now, let's see if perhaps this is the right place to make adjustments or whether we have to get a little closer. Now that's good. Oh, bop encounter. All right, there we go. We're all set. Need to achieve orbit, transmit scientific data, land, and then transmit or recover scientific data from the surface. Oh no, there is a, another encounter with a moon. We actually, we're, you were using Lathe again. Okay. Very interesting stuff. I don't even know. I think uh, it, this pass we don't hit lathe. Yeah, this pass we, we don't hit lathe. We do the burn and then we get the lathe encounter. Lathe being so helpful this time, I'm almost worried about what its true motives are. All sorts of little flashes of what Lathe is doing to our uh, to our orbit. It's very scary, actually. Eck. It's so touchy right now. Every little movement is magnified by what Lathe is doing to our orbit. 
Okay, there we go. Bop encounter. Looks like a crash course, but we'll fix that once we can, hopefully. Uh, I don't even know how long the uh, bop encounters tend to last like for a few minutes or something. So it's going to be interesting to see what kind of encounter it is, but perhaps at this descending node we'll fix up the encounter. Still haven't fixed the fuel situation, remember that was one of the issues with this lander that we discovered. It's just a matter of the way the plumbing works, where the fuel lines are. Okay, but I think this is enough to make a landing on on Bop before we dump the stage, so as intended. Okay, Lay's Sphere of Influence. There goes Lay. We've already done our science here. Just passing on by. We need to make some adjustments. Not, not a surprise. Even less than 9.8 actually, just about 3 actually, 3 meters per second, and now we have a full bop encounter. As I said, it's only a sort of a, well it's actually a 38 minute encounter, and we've got a good peri uh, periapsis, so uh, let's not take it from this view. As much as I like the, the outside view, I probably would totally miss the bop encounter if I tried to take it from that. Got to be careful with time warping now. Okay, so first order of business is to get into orbit. Wow, that takes a lot, doesn't it? That's trouble with not having an atmosphere on Bob. Okay, that's decent. Don't know how much Delta V we have left in this stage. Just to keep it from taking fuel from the top, which it loves to do and it has been doing already here. Gotta pump the fuel back up there. And then shut this off and shut the other tank for the lander off. Now we should have a better look at things. Stage only. Okay. Now how much Delta V is that really? Because I don't want to be caught short of Delta V right when I'm trying to make a landing. Okay, my calculations say that we have about 1,200 Delta V remaining, which is enough for this burn and probably enough for the landing. So that is the verdict. Lem will EVA. Uh, we'll keep that data, but we'll probably transmit that soon enough. I'm going to also transmit the data from the gravioli. Oh, well, we've got some here in space near. Let's transmit that data. Better start burning now. Where is Bob? Should be quite visible. Oh, there it is. Okay, that is orbit, and it acknowledges that. So now let's go to the other side and do some more science. Okay, are we near to Bob yet? Still high over Bob. Okay, well, uh, let's transmit the remainder of this, and also retro burn. Okay, we probably want some location around here as our landing spot, so that's what I've got planned for. 
Well, let's make an initial landing burn. Well, Bob's no gilly. It's got some, it's got some gravity to it. It's a bit more like Minmus, it looks like, based on the orbital speed. Maybe tilt up a bit just so that we shine our lights on any particular problems and also have the ability to blast away quickly. Alright, well you've got my time warp down to one factor of one, so we are near Bop. Okay, we gotta keep that data. And is uh, the thermometer is not cooperating this time. Okay. Feels very dangerous not being able to see the terrain at all. Oh shoot. Oh shoot. Um, let's go up a bit. Can we go up? Just a little bit. Wow. We were 100 meters above the surface just a second ago. Okay, well that's boosted our orbit a little bit too much, but uh, better safe than sorry here. Okay, well, that was exciting. I'm going to allow this tank to feed into the other one. So that we don't run out of fuel on landing. Okay, heading down this rough terrain. Not much gravity, but still rough terrain. Okay, we have a reading on our radar altimeter. Okay, that's 2000, we'll say. Alright, so we're looking at, let's say, a surface altitude of 9000. Not, yeah, yeah, 9000. Less than 9000, but just to be safe, let's call it 9000. Okay, contact, we are on the surface. Alright, Lem. Appropriate name for an astronaut, I guess. Kerbonaut. Uh, let's retract the solar panels. Because they get in the way of the... Well, we can retract just that one, maybe. So that we can extend the ladder properly. And there's only that one land ladder, unfortunately. But uh, Len, I think you can deal with the gravity here. So why don't you actually uh, uh, do me a favor and do a crew report here. Should the... Oh, no. Uh, I guess we can uh, EVA take all that data. Wow. Now uh, also do an EVA report. Keep that board. Now do a crew report. Keep that data. Should have had you. Well, uh, oh, this this solar panel is gonna get in the way. Hold on. It's gonna get in the way of us grabbing that uh, that science there. Okay down no 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 backflip oh well okay yep. well huh what happened I did not ask for this uh, map view 
Okay, very weird glitch. I'm gonna I'm gonna quit out and come back in, okay? We're clearly with the Kerbal here, but Oh wait wait but this this should not be happening, even if I the camera was off. Okay. So I quit out and came back in and it looks like the game has killed killed Lem. Lem is nowhere in sight. Nothing anywhere around Bop. Nothing en route to Jewel. Huh. And we had a lot of science packed in there, but of course the main the main thing is no limb. Um Debris. Nope, no indication of debris either. So, so we might have lost Lem. To the Kraken, obviously. Uh, yeah. Okay, well, I'm gonna have to think about what to do about this. Uh, I do have uh, zipped up saves, but I don't know how far back they would go. I don't quick save. I only zip up saves after the end of a mission. Um, so it would have been uh, when we finished the Calrod's mission to Duna, once he uh, splash down and we recover vessel and everything. Uh, that would have been the last save that I have. In which case I would have to bring uh, all the maneuvering that I had to do with uh, Lem would have to be done again. Anyway, alright, so, uh, well, thank you for watching. If you have any comments about what I should do at this point, please do uh, leave them in the comment section below. If you have any other comments about uh, about the video please uh, drop me a line about that but uh, I'm feeling quite down right now the game has betrayed me uh, right on my moment of triumph it's quite a blow but yeah anyway uh, thank you for watching I hope you enjoyed this video if you did enjoy this video please do press like if you have any comments or suggestions please leave them in the comment section below and I'll see you next time